The year 2013 is the 60th founding anniversary of the Presbyterian Church in the Republic of Korea, or the PROK. It was on June 10, 1953, that the PROK was formed as a new church separate from the Presbyterian Church of Korea. The formation of the PROK was a response to the temper of the times which challenged the newly formed Church of Jesus Christ to firm up its prophetic role in society as well as equip its leaders and members with a comprehensive and contextual understanding of the Bible so that the Gospel will be truly lived in the present and future circumstances. Serving as one of the professors of the then chosen theological seminary, now the PROK's Hanshin University Graduate School of Theology, the Reverend Dr. Kim Jae-joon has been considered as the founder of the PROK. As one of the precursors of rational and contextual learning of the Bible, along other leaders of the Church, his stance was characterized by the mainland by Presbyterian Church as heretic and would not pass the scrutiny of the entire church. But he stood his ground for academic proficiency of pastors, balanced with a spirituality rooted in the deepest hopes and aspirations of the Korean people for a just and peaceful society. The history and heritage of faith, the PROK, has been shown in the growth and spread of local churches in the entire country. One of the most distinguishing heritages of the Church has been the faithful witness to the life of Christ in the dark years of military dictatorships from the early 1960s to the mid-1980s. Church leaders and members alike raised their voices indecent to the massive deterioration of the state of democracy, human rights, and economic rights. Where there were massacres of protesters and other forms of violence used by the military dictators. It has supported the work to restore the democratic institutions of the country through its democratically elected leaders in the succeeding years from 1998 to 2008. Statistics show that as of year 2011, the PROK has 1,600 local churches, 2,723 ordained pastors, 656 unordained pastors, and with more than 300,000 members. The church continues to aim to increase its membership through mission and evangelization. Following the Presbyterian polity of Reformed churches, the PROK has the General Assembly as its highest policy-making body that meets annually to receive reports from the Presbyteries and its national committees. In between General Assemblies, the National Executive Committee meets three to four times a year. The moderator is the head of the General Assembly, while the General Secretary heads the National Secretariat. The life, ministry, and mission of the Church are guided and carried out by the national boards and committees that ensure the implementation of nationally coordinated programs and ministries. The national committees and boards are the Constitution and Bylaws, Appeals, Elections, Examination and Ordination, Pension Board, Laity, Hanshin University Board, Juridical Foundation Board, Finance, Mission, Social Welfare, the Christian Institute for Rural Development, Church and Society, Peace and Reunification, Gender Justice, and Ecumenical Relations. The PROK is equally active in the growth and maturation of its churches and in assuming ethical responsibility in society and the international community. These are shown in the contemporary and varied and responsive ministries and programs carried out at the national, presbytery, and local church levels. The church believes that its historical heritage lives on 
in these ministries and programs. These are as well considered as visible signs of the kingdom of God. At the forefront of the immense challenges to achieve enduring just peace, reunification, and reconciliation of the Korean Peninsula, the Peace Community Movement Center, or the PCMC, has been formed as nationally coordinated program and as a peace movement of peacemakers. The PCMC, as the peace movement of the church, pursues peace grounded in justice and love. The most recent and continuing campaign is the making of a permanent peace treaty that will replace the armistice of 1953. Another major program is the Ecology Community Movement Center, or the ECMC, that promotes environmental living in churches and emphasize the coexistence of nature and humanity as both being part of God's creation. All church members are encouraged to join the ECMC and participate in its stewardship of life. Moreover, there is a program where the church exerts its energy and resources in order to nurture and care for its members that will result in numerical increase of the number of churches. At the forefront of this is the Mission 2015, which started at the General Assembly Declaration of Vision 2015 Movement, or the Movement for 3,000 Churches. This is the church movement that reflects the PROK's unique character and evangelical mission. Supporting the committed nurturing of church members, especially the children and youth, is the program on Christian education, curriculum development, and publication, and is handled by the Institute for Mission in Christian Education. Along the line of Christian education is the teaching of church history through artifacts and historical records which the historical archives have made accessible. The PROK has institutions that support its mission and ministry, especially the training of pastors and evangelists in the education of the Korean youth. Hanshin University ably provides good quality higher education, which has its main campus in Osan City, while its graduate school of theology is in Suyu in the metropolis of Seoul. The recently opened academic program in Hanshin Seminary is the Studies in Ecumenism and Social Transformation, an international and ecumenical program that caters to leadership development among Asian churches and students from other regions in the world. Other institutional and broader social ministries are the Hotel Academy House, originally was the Center for Development Education for Industrial Workers and Farmers in the 1970s and 1990s, but now being utilized as conference center and where the General Assembly offices of the church are housed. There is the Yongsing High School that serves the youth in Sowon City with good education and imbued with Christian spirituality. Also, women, men and youth of the church are organized from the local, presbytery and national levels. Members of the church are nationally organized as National Church Women's Association, or NCWA, the National Church Men's Association, or NCMA, and the National Youth Association, or known as the PROK Youth. These three later organizations carry out nationally coordinated programs for Christian mission, education, and social action. Aside from this, is the National Association of Church School Teachers that supports the Sunday School program of the church. Furthermore, the church has been actively addressing social issues and concerns, relevant and broader ministries responding to the needs of people in distressed situations, such as the Duribang or My Sister's Place for Women, caught in human and sex trafficking, Migrant Worker Centers for Labor and Human Rights Advocacy, the Rural Development Center for researching into and demonstration of alternative ways for ecologically sustainable agriculture and the Jubilee House for maladjusted youth and orphaned children. Finally, the PROK relates with churches in the country and in regions in the world through the Ecumenical Relations Department. The church sends ecumenical co-workers to overseas partners. 
As of the current year, there are 65 ecumenical co-workers sent to 29 countries around the world, mostly to partner churches and mission agencies, while it has received a handful of ecumenical co-workers from partner churches from Canada, Germany, and the Philippines. The PROK maintains active and committed membership with the National Council of Churches in Korea, or NCCK, the World Council of Churches, the World Communion of Reformed Churches, and the Christian Conference of Asia. The life and faith witness of the Presbyterian Church in the Republic of Korea reflects Jesus' mission for a holistic life for all of creation.